here with head coach Dave Slifer for the uh, Central Missouri Jennies here on Basketball Media Day. Uh, coach, just a couple questions about the upcoming season here. Uh, just tell us, uh, how do you feel, or what do you feel are your team's strengths heading into the season? First of all, I want to welcome everybody to the third annual virtual media reality day. Uh, this has uh, become quite a big deal here in the MIAA for the uh, virtual media reality show here we've got. Uh, I do want to get one plug in. I know this goes on YouTube, and I, I need to get a few more hits to get to 25,000. Type in Jenny Sportsmanship. Okay, I'm done with all this now. Um, we've got uh, a, a nice group back a nice group back that uh, only one starter and so uh, we've got uh, a lot of holes to fill from last year's 29 team, uh, uh, we're a regional bid team. We've got uh, uh, Nicole Cadell back for a, a fifth year, very thrilled to have that. She was first team uh, all-conference and all-American player. Uh, we did graduate uh, four other starters. But we are very, very excited to have uh, some new kids step in here that we should fill in quite, quite well. What are your biggest concerns heading into the season, um, such as replacing some of those key seniors from last year, uh, things that you've seen that your team uh, you feel like needs to improve on before the season gets underway? Well, I tell you, I'm going to go first. I don't think I ever really answered the other question, was, and that was I like our quickness. We are much quicker than we have been the last few years, uh, much, much quicker. I'm a little bit concerned that we don't uh, shoot the ball and score as well as we have in uh, the last couple of years. But uh, that, that's a good problem to have. So I think we'll probably be more defensive-oriented than we have been in the last couple of years. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, we'll probably have a few more issues uh, trying to score. But uh, we do have some some new kids that I think once they get comfortable with what they're doing, they're going to be able to put the ball in the hole and uh, put some pressure on the other team offensively. Uh, you talked about your key returner, Nicole Cadell. Uh, the Jennings this year is going to have a lot of new faces. Uh, talk about, I guess, some of those uh, new players that's kind of stood out. and How's the team kind of uh, gelled with so many new players coming in with the, uh, the returners from last year? Well, it's interesting. Uh, first off, we do have two redshirt kids, Danielle Bounds and Aaron Redmond, who uh, probably would have vied for some starting roles last year, and uh, they end up getting some knee injuries. They'll be back this year, uh, which should help in our depth. And then we've got some, some new uh, players coming in. Uh, uh, the Brianna Lewis is a, a guard that uh, is very, very quick. Shelby Winkleman is a young lady that was a former Miss Basketball in Missouri. She played volleyball in Nebraska last year. She came back now and is uh, making the transition to playing basketball again. She was a prolific scorer in high school, and now she's learning the college game. Kiana Flax will be eligible at semester. Kiana is a uh, All-American Junior College uh, young lady from Trinity Valley. Uh, her and uh, Lewis played together on an undefeated uh, Trinity Valley team, which won the uh, Division One JUCO Nationals. So, they've got uh, we've got some kids in here that can play that should be able to fit in in the uh, MIAA quite well. We hope. I've seen a couple of practices from this team now through the uh, offseason workouts. What are your overall expectations for this year? I'd like to think that uh, uh, instead of uh, being down in that third, fourth, fifth, sixth, which with the expanded conference, it's not a bad place to be. That's a little different than third out of ten teams. Uh, but I'd like to think that we should be able to uh, make some waves at the top of the league instead of that uh, upper uh, upper third instead of where we were at. So uh, we're excited that uh, we think that uh, defensively we're going to be totally different than we've been in the last few years. Uh, offensively, I think as the year goes on, uh, we will get our uh, probably more efficient. All right, Jimmy's basketball kicks off November 10th here at home against Webster. Coach Slifer, thanks. Thank you, Greg.